What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and today we have some news that I think is going to excite a lot of Marvel fans. Ever since Marvel essentially got the rights back to use the Netflix Marvel characters, fans have been wondering and hoping that we would see some of these characters now pop up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Rumors went crazy for a while and then our hopes and our dreams were answered. They announced Daredevil Born Again, with Charlie Cox returning as Matt Murdock and Daredevil in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Well, I guess our wishes were kind of answered when Matt Murdock appeared in Spider-Man No Way Home, but this is the official series, 18 episodes, it's big. And today's report is just as big, as it's been rumored that the Punisher could be returning, and he could be making his MCU debut in Daredevil Born Again. That's right, Daredevil and the Punisher in one series. And that's not all of the good news. The rumor also states that the Punisher could be getting his own Disney Plus show as well. In fact, it looks like several of the Defenders are going to be showing up in the MCU and or getting their own show on Disney Plus. And the Daredevil show is going to act as sort of a vehicle for all of this to actually happen. Daredevil is bringing everybody together again, and then they're going to go their separate ways, kind of. They're going to go off into their own shows, and of course, I'm assuming they are going to still interact with each other every now and then. So let's break down these reports and talk about the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe because it looks like it's about to get much better than we ever thought it would. Now, it's really hard to trace back the first report or rumor of this, as a lot of people have been talking about it. But recently, I believe it started with KC Walsh over at the GWW.com. Yesterday, he tweeted, responding to another tweet that said, Alakwa Cox will return as Maya Lopez in Daredevil Born Again. And he said, I know I was in denial about this, but it sounds like another popular character will show up as well due to a scheduling conflict as it appears they will take the rumored role Jessica Jones had. There is more to this, but first, let's talk about this specific part. 1. Alakwa Cox will return as Maya Lopez in Daredevil Born Again. That's pretty self-explanatory. We even know for a fact that Daredevil is going to be in the Echo series, and that Kingpin is going to be the villain of both Echo and the Daredevil series. But the next part is very, very interesting. It appears that Jessica Jones was supposed to show up at some point in time in the Daredevil Born Again series for a cameo. However, it would appear that due to some scheduling conflicts, Kristen Ritter can not appear on the show. That in itself is a pretty big bummer right there. I really like Kristen Ritter and I really love Jessica Jones and I would have loved to see her show up in Daredevil Born Again, but the fact that this was even a possibility is super exciting and gives me hope that we'll see her down the road. But the other part to this is where it says that it looks like another popular character will show up to replace her. And this character is supposedly the Punisher. And of course, I am specifically talking about John Bernthal's Punisher. It wouldn't make sense to reboot only some of these characters and keep the actors the same and get new actors for other roles. That would be super, super confusing. So a lot of people have been saying that this surprise cameo, this replacement cameo for Jessica Jones is going to be the Punisher. And this morning, Charles Murphy of Murphy'sMultiverse.com even tweeted about it as well. And he said, FWIW, which I believe stands for For What It's Worth, I too have heard about the Bernthal buzz. May remember months back, I said I was told to pump the brakes on Ritter joining Echo slash Daredevil Born Again, and this is why, and Bernthal's name was mentioned. I will also say that I am absolutely not confirming, just sharing what I heard. So Charles Murphy was originally talking about Jessica Ritter joining Echo slash Daredevil, but was told to hold off on that, and the reason why is because of that scheduling conflict that was mentioned before. Jessica Jones was supposed to appear, but apparently she cannot now. But Charles Murphy has confirmed that he has also heard John Bernthal's name mentioned as somebody to fill in that cameo slot. So these are two reliable people in the industry talking about John Bernthal returning as the Punisher in Daredevil and hopefully for more in the MCU. In fact, it does seem like Marvel Studios is trying to do more soft reboots of the Netflix series characters, bringing them into the MCU and giving them their own shows again. We'll dive into that, but first, big thank you to Mint Mobile for sponsoring this video. Most people know about Mint Mobile because of Ryan Reynolds, but most people don't know about Mint Mobile's amazing quality. Now, I live in the mountains and service isn't too good. However, Mint Mobile sent me a free plan and I get better service with their plan than I do with my other provider. But what's crazy is their plan is so much cheaper. Mint Mobile offers wireless for just 15 bucks a month. 
They give you the best rate whether you're buying for one or a family. And at Mint Mobile, families start at only two lines. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Plus, Mint Mobile's modern family plan lets you mix and match data plans so everyone gets the amount of data that's right for them. And you can use your own phone and keep your same number and contacts. So to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, including the modern family plan, go to mintmobile.com slash cosmic. That's mintmobile.com slash cosmic. Cut your wireless bill down to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash cosmic. So the great news is that it looks like the Defenders, at least some of them, are going to be in the MCU, and it looks like some of them are going to be getting their own Disney Plus shows. And it looks like Marvel Studios has already established their formula of how to introduce these characters and then give them their own shows. It's pretty much what they're doing for Daredevil. We saw Daredevil, or should I say, we saw Matt Murdock appear in Spider-Man No Way Home. He is now about to appear in She-Hulk, we believe the very next episode, since we got a pretty big teaser for him at the end of the last episode. Then he's going to be appearing in the Echo series, and then of course he gets his own series, Daredevil Born Again. They also kind of did the same for Echo. They introduced her first in the Hawkeye series, and now she is getting her own series. So this kind of seems to be the formula. Introduce the Punisher and or Frank Castle in the MCU in another show, basically teasing him and letting the audience go wow before he gets his own show same thing for jessica jones tease her like she was supposed to be teased apparently in the daredevil series and then spin her off and give her her own series or at least her own storyline in a bunch of other series and this is what kevin feige has actually been teasing us with when he's been talking about the street level team he's mentioned the supernatural team the cosmic team and the street level team and he even mentioned at one point in time daredevil and spider-man teaming up with each other however it looks like we're not stopping with daredevil and hopefully we are getting a good majority of the defenders back perhaps luke cage could show up perhaps iron fist could show up and rosario dawson also mentioned her interest in returning as claire temple as well and recently, I even heard a rumor, although I'm not sure how credible it is, but I heard a rumor that Eldon Henson could be returning as Foggy Nelson in Daredevil as well. So Marvel has their plan, and Kevin Feige did mention that pretty soon we would start to see that plan come together. And I, for sure, hope that the plan is to have a Defenders team. And not just them, but them combining with other members like Spider-Man, She-Hulk, our new Captain America slash Falcon, and basically be a street-level Avengers team. I think this is a really great plan by Marvel Studios because I think the fans are really going to enjoy seeing these Netflix characters return played by the original actors. This combined with new characters being introduced to the MCU right now through Disney Plus and also the movies, this is going to make for one heck of an MCU and not to mention a really large MCU, especially with the mutants coming up pretty soon as well. I'm certainly excited for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and I'm sure you are as well, so let me know all of your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Let me know how excited you are for John Bernthal to return as the Punisher, hopefully, fingers crossed, and Jessica Jones and others as well. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest Marvel news. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.